It's Friday evening here in Durham, North Carolina, and uh, it's after 6 p.m. For many, it's been a long work week, but what you're finding here is that these people are all lined up for early voting. Hello, how are you? Hi, and hey. And we are just poll we're just pollers. We make sure that campaign literature is given out to all the camp all the poll people. Okay, very good. Okay, the line continues. People are driving up to the polls to vote. And the line continues. Did you come out to the early voting as opposed to waiting until Tuesday? For convenience purposes. And do you always vote? Yes. What do you think uh, of President Obama's performance in the White House for the first two years? I think he's been remarkable. Um, do you expect that uh, the Tea Party will make uh, a lot of noise during this election or do you just think that they're just a group of fanatics? I think they're going to make a lot of noise, which is exactly what it is. Okay, very good. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Bye. He's laughing. He's like an angry voter. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, guys. She Thank made, you. Tea <laughs> Hello, sir. Did you know what number you were coming out of the polls? Uh, it ended in a 39. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> you don't know what else, but it you was, don't. Uh, it might have been 11,000 something in 39. Wow. Okay, thank you. Okay, so tell me why you decided to do early voting. Well, I decided to early vote because go. I, I go to school in Greensboro. I reside in Greensboro. And so this was the only time that I could vote. And I wanted to vote because I wanted to have my voice heard. So when I complain, I can complain and say I voted at the same time. Because this is an off-season election, you wouldn't expect to find the number of people that you are finding here, which just goes to show you that a lot of people feel that they have a lot vested in who is going to represent them in Congress in the next two years.